Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the third lecture tutorial on the Siva King piano exercises to develop a good piano technique and strong hands. So this is lesson three, and it's taking uh, as an exercise, and we're taking a single finger and exercising it 16 times. So you're on the octave above middle C, C, D, E, F, G, and you're going to hold the thumb and you're going to work that second finger 16 times. So, so four groups of four sixteenths. One, two. how I'm playing down from the main arch of knuckles and in the left it's it's uh, uh, so C and then develops your, the strength of your hand and it's not just the one side or the other it goes through the whole thing it's important to do that exercise then exercise number four takes which is up here takes C D E D as a group one two three two three four three four five so if we take this group above C the one octave up from middle C we exercise then we do two, three, four. And notice my wrist is to the left, not to the right, to keep the main arch straight. And then three, four, five. Then we do the left, an octave lower, which is here, and we take it from your thumb. So. the full weight on each key. Then we take on a group of th the black keys. So we take one, two, three, like that. Two, three, four. Three, four, five. And in the left is so fingers, strong grip, but a loose movable wrist. And the next one is lesson number six, where we have uh, one, two, one, two, three, two, one, like C, D, C, D, E, D, C. So second group, third group, and in the left, it's from G. So Second group, and third group, and then we do it on the black keys, so. Second group, third group. And then in the left, it's the same thing on the B flat. Second group. Third group. For the third finger, like three, four, five group. So that's the series so far. Oh, I'll do one more, uh, lesson number eight, because it involves the whole hand and you're over C, D, E, F, G, an octave above middle C, so it's going to be and in the left, an octave below middle C, it's on these notes, and uh, it's going to be sorry. us up to 
up to more involved whole hand sets of exercises, which we'll cover, in, uh, start to cover in lesson four. These exercises involve the independent finger to begin with, and then we do wrist exercises, and then we do stretch uh, double thirds, and then we do stretch exercises where we're that kind of thing. But all of this is geared towards trying to produce a good singing tone. So for example, I can go like this. Like if I do it for the technique, but if I do it for the tone, I have to crawl that weight. I have to shape ahead for what's coming next and hear it in my head. It's a matter of the key not going down too fast. You want to be able to sink into the key. You want to voice the top if it's a harmony, not but turning the hand that way and focusing that the drop is here, where you'd hardly even brush this key, just barely brush it. I have to hear that that note's quieter than this. So the practice of the Siviking exercises gives you the strength in your hand to make those differences between the voices and create a, a wave because the wire has to be able to go like a sine curve. The hammer, you have to understand the action of the piano. And when you sink down, see the fall board, if I move it like this, you'll see the key goes way back and in behind there, there's the hammer, I can't really show it to you here right now without pulling the action out, but the, the key, the weapon is sitting on the back end of the key on the little brass capstan. So when I sink in here with my body and my weight, I'm levering, teeter-tottering, throwing, lim limply sl slopping that hammer up into the key, but I got control with my finger because I'm taking that tone but I'm lopping that hammer up to make a wave out of the wire to the back of the piano. And that's what's coming to the listener's ear. So you don't, if you just do this, you get no wave. You just create noise, an ugly sound. But when you can, you throw that elbow up as well, you see, and get, get all of that weight that you're drawing it. You can take the most beautiful, tender sounds as just whatever you hear in your head. And of course, the uh, regulation of the piano and so on makes a big difference as well. So anyway, these are ideas for you to think about, and uh, hopefully you'll do those technical exercises each day. It has to be every day, and the, your hands will start to get stronger, that you can control which voice you're trying to bring out and what color you want from that note and how much depth you want to that tone. Anyway, I hope you have a good evening. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye.